Welcome back to Brickmania TV. All right, Cody, we have a model that you've been working on for months now, right? Months? No, months? it only took a week. Oh, really? What? What? Sort of. Okay. Because I, start, I started with the light gray version, <laughs> and then I made it camo. Just made it more awesome. That was all in one week? More awesomer. No, I don't remember. That was months. That was a while ago. Okay, yeah. Well, Anyways. it was a long time ago. It just didn't take that long. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So let's uh, get right into it. Maybe a little bit of history first. So this is the F-100 Super Saber. We should probably mention that right off. Right. Yeah. This is a... Vietnam era fighter bomber. It's the first jet to make um, a world speed record, the oh. supersonic speed record, nice. of 822 miles an hour. Uh, later versions could go over a thousand miles an hour. So it's pretty fast. Nuts. Some armaments on this thing? What do we got? Some armaments. We have two napalm canisters. Um, that would be the orange stripe on the bomb. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Um, we have drop tanks. I think they're 345 gallon drop tanks. Those are not big bombs. They're no, drop they're drop tanks. The the dark gray ones, that thing, and some 500 pound bombs on the edge of the wings. Cool. Um, and then you have the little, little recessed machine guns represented. Yes, uh, there's four 20 millimeter cannons under the nose, just kind of represented it's that. Right, with yeah, they're not really built on there. Yeah. And some it's had them and then right? some didn't because they, they went through so many different versions of this plane trying to get all the bugs worked out of it. Right. Uh, one pilot actually crashed one of the initial flights. He lost control of the yaw and the plane just disintegrated. Oh. <laughs> they, Was they, he okay? They, they, a lot of these were lost just due to accidents. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's got an ejector seat. He, yeah, it's got an ejector seat. He a bailed lot. out of that, or no? Actually, oh, he, okay. he, he did die in that crash, unfortunately. That yeah, it was the first supersonic airplane. Yeah, um, it's getting a lot of kinks worked out. Yeah, they, they I mean, they replaced engines, they replaced all the electronics, um, they replaced the exhaust fins in the back, cool. and they increased the wingspan, increased the surface area of this tail wing. There's a bunch of different things that they did yeah. uh, to make it better. Cool. So some notable features would be. The tail wings rotate up and down. That's how they actually work. The entire fin would move. It's not just like a small section of the the aileron. That's the whole back of it. That's cool. Um, we have an airspeed indicator in the nose that folds up. Um, that's so when they're taxiing on the runway, okay, yeah. they fold up just so they don't get broken off or something. <laughs> airspeed indicator. I didn't know they had one of those. Yep. Like a pole in the front of your airplane. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, Dan had to tell me what that was. I didn't know what it was. I was yeah. like, oh, look, an antenna. Nice. So, the refueling arm? Yeah, it was, the, it was also the first jet to refuel midair oh, um, cool. with this, but they had problems with these also. They would break off in high-speed maneuvers and just <laughs> fly off the aircraft. Um, again, they're figuring yeah, it again, out. Yeah, again, they're just figuring it out, getting things ready. That's cool. Um, so we have a few different stickers right. um, on the back that land in design. Yeah. What does Letters CO stand, stand for? for? I don't know. Cody, what does, <laughs> Mr. Russell, what does uh, the CO stand for? Oh, and also, got some, uh, we have a sassy siskin. Sassy siskin. Pin up on the front. <laughs> <laughs> who, who made that? I don't, uh, I don't know whose idea that was, but. I don't know. That was your idea. It's kind of my idea. Maybe. <laughs> Would you have another one if you want to replace it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> or if so, you don't do it at all. So the original model you built was this basic gray color scheme? Yep. I just had to get things figured out. Mm -hmm. And then from there we decided, well, it would look good in camo. And I was confident great. that we could do it yeah. in camo with the pieces available. And obviously you did. Yeah. I like the kind of burnt away paint yeah. in the back. Yeah, they would paint. The entire plane would be painted. And then the engine would get so hot that the paint would just melt off the back end. Right. So that's ex exposed steel right there. Yeah, it's like exposed stainless cool. steel. And it comes with its collector series stand. It right does. There. And it's strong. You can, it I mean, you can you can pick it up and fly it, and it's, it's swooshable by its stand. Um, 
also just pops yeah, off. Yeah, we've seen you running back and forth the office. <laughs> yeah. Pew, pew. And it has retractable landing gear. Oh, yeah, oh, let's the, see you. Oh, okay, the entire underside is uh, light gray. Yep. Um, sort of the camouflage. Mm -hmm. uh, has there an air go. brake. Oh, I didn't, I've never seen underneath. that part. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> until I just looked at the underneath side. Landing gears with Cody Ocell. It works better with a bar to open the landing gear. <laughs> All right, uh, Cody had me put together a uh, minifig pilot, and um, I guess with the help of internet resources, and shout out to Will Chapman from Brick Arms. Um, his old man was a F-100 pilot, so that's kind of a useful input there. Very cool. Yeah. So this, the pilot itself has a survival vest on. It's kind of this, it's got a cool mesh pattern printed on it. I don't know if you can see that on the camera here. I'm gonna just move it around so it's difficult for you to focus on. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's got a mesh pattern front and back. Um, cool little helmet that Cody came up with. It's got a, what is that? A visor. shield, the visor of some yeah. sort. And then a Star Wars helmet, because that looks like a real pilot helmet. It does. It does. It does. Um, what else? Um, he's got a G suit on, and that is like a compression suit that would go around the uh, pilot's legs. And in high speed maneuvers, would it inflate with air? Is that how that works? Uh, it keeps the blood somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, it's like it, I think it inflates with air. Is that correct? The G suit. Uh, yeah, in, I'm pretty sure it's pneumatic. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the G suit, it basically keeps you from passing out. Right, yeah, it keeps the, keeps the blood in your head, right? Yeah, yeah. As so it's it, in your legs. Yeah. The G suit inf <laughs> would inflate with air and it would, uh, I guess, force the blood upwards yep. so you don't pass out during super high speed maneuvering. Mm -hmm. Cool stuff. So that's all represented on here. Um, what else? All leather combat boots um, with a zipper going up the front. I thought it was an interesting detail. They would. The boots came from the factory laced up, but with like a zipper built into it. Yeah. Normally you'd add that afterwards, but they just came with that, so. Interesting detail. It is interesting detail. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> You're welcome. I thought so too. <laughs> um, that's it, that's all, that, that's it. Okay. That's all I got. What else, anything else you wanna talk about? Anything else? Uh, cockpit, cockpit's yeah. cool. Uh, we have a detailed cockpit. Landon came up with some stickers idea. You may recognize those stickers. <clears throat> a little throwback there. A little throwback Lego classic button thing. <laughs> <laughs> the classic Lego buttons. Uh, yeah, there's a headrest in uh, in the seat. There's a joystick. I don't know how much of this you can see on the camera. Um, and there's another printed tile, classic Lego printed tile in the front. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, where are we going? What's going on? Wop, 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 wop. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's that uh, the model, Cody. That is it. That is the model. That's everything. Pretty sure. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. No. Oh well. Obviously, there's an intake on the front. Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Uh, we've rambled on enough, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That is the F100 Super Saber. Sabre. Sabre. Thank you very much for watching Brick Mania <laughs> TV. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and. Yeah, stay tuned for future episodes. Time for another episode of Flat Hats and Fedoras. I can't really put the hat on very tip. well. <laughs> tip. My lady. Very tip. Well. Tip. Tipping intensifies. <laughs> How about a jet wear a hat? My lady. Oh, I missed the hat. <laughs> <laughs> tip, 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 tip. This is officially the worst episode ever done. <laughs>